world like me. <laughs> David, it's good to see now, you. We wanted to have you with us in Las Vegas, but you were busy no, in Atlantic City. No, of course. Yeah. And you know the money you pay. I'm going to run to do this. Uh, I mean, this is a treat because you meet young people. Yeah. You know, young. We, you made Betty audiences. Davis 109. The woman is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Really. Yeah. When she sat at this desk and you kept saying, Betty, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. You don't need that. I never She's said that. She's a lovely star. She's a wonderful woman. I know her for woman. many, many years. Very nice woman. Yes, Did you ever work with Betty Davis? No, no, I'm not that old, and you're going to get a slap in the face if you say that. <laughs> well, again. you could have worked with her in I'm anywhere. Sure, in World yeah. War I, I could have worked with her. <laughs> I did. No, I worked with Clark Gable. You never worked with Clark Gable, did you? No, I didn't. Did you ever work with anybody? <laughs> oh, no. Tonight's my he first was in night. Indiana on a Saturday night, sitting there, stepping on a cricket, going, I'm looking for work. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to Johnny Carson. Uh, you, how is you, Johnny? You'll get the call Friday. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Something about look for work oh, I see. and be with that other girl. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh <laughs> Hey, hey! Hey, there's none of that! There's no there's no voting! <laughs> you people sit there, you stood in line all night when I went through the NBC entrance, they were all by the door going, there he is. Uh <laughs> now all of a sudden they're turning on me. <laughs> David, I gotta tell you though, this is a different studio. This is a smaller studio. You had a big, bigger same studio. studio. Really is same well, studio. I, I yeah. guess the actor's shrinking. Yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> How did you like Vegas? Oh, I had a great time in Vegas. Yeah, I missed you there. I was looking for. We wanted to, to have you in there. It would have been great, great would, for us. Hey, and, and to and to meet Robert Goulet and Jerry Vale. <laughs> No, Jerry and Bob are my good friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, uh, there's a guy out there with a blowgun. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, do you, you must love coming back to New York City, huh? Well, I do, I, except I'm going busted because the wife's in every store in town. The, yeah. the wife's on a There's hunt. a lot of shopping. Oh, she's got a black belt in shopping. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> she just gets up in the morning and goes, I want to see the Jew go broke. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, in Jewish people, we usually don't go broke. We buy trees. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we buy trees. Uh -huh. Damn, that was a good one. I can't understand it. Anyway, uh, you know, when you get an Iowa audience, it's Yeah, rough. I know, it's difficult. But, uh, do that I, cricket stuff again. They seem to enjoy no, that. No, no, I'll do what I want, David. <laughs> okay. I don't need you to tell me what I do, David. You understand? Oh, I understand. You do your stuff with these young comedians yeah. that come on. I put in a lot of years. This is a big shock for I me know. to be on this Mickey Mouse show. <laughs> don't turn on me. We've known each other a long, long time, time. and right. when you got this job, you said to me, Don, remember? Right. Remember when I drove by your house and you went, Don! <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you live in Malibu, don't you? Uh, I have, a, I have a house address. there. No, I have a and house And I have there. a house there, too, and I never see you. I've been at Johnny's place. He has a... I'm Carson, Manitoba. we're talking about Johnny Carson, a magnificent place. He just invited yeah. with yeah. the tennis court, you know, yeah. and about 39 acres, and mm -hmm. the lovely lady, mm -hmm. Alex, and they just sit there going, Ball. <laughs> 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 And once in a while, your name comes up, and he well, says, uh, right? here, here's some food for him. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you worry. No, as I'm long as worried. Dave Tebbett's alive, you're going to have well, a TV good. set. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, an inside it's joke. an inside joke, but it's sure. Uh, okay, we have to do a commercial, and then we'll... Right be, away, huh? We'll, we'll be right I back. I guess time's here. running out, well, huh? No, we got plenty of you're time. You're getting a lighter! So now, Don here was just gracious enough. Now, repeat that invitation. I find this to be almost hard to believe. This is fantasy. What, what, it's a dinner. Well, We're it's, going it's, to dinner, it's, right? It's a, yeah, it's a big shot. Yeah. At a place called uh, Splash, yeah. in, 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 uh, out at the beach, right. Right, which we had a big party. And uh, 18 I, bucks for a piece of fish at the place, by the way. No, nah, a little more than that. Yeah. But uh, you, you can't handle it. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> okay. but I'm it's, not my, gonna... it's my tip, and hard. we'll invite Carson and his lady, uh -huh. and you and your lady. What's uh -huh. your lady's first name? Well, it's... Oh, uh, it's one of those kind of ladies. Anyway, uh... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, he has a lovely lady. I never saw her, but I understand when you look at her real close, you go, ooh. Anyway, uh, why haven't you been married? You're so... I, I've been married once. I was married once. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of Naturally. an ugly divorce. Thanks for reminding me. Well, no, I... Hey. <laughs> Hey, it doesn't no, but work now, out now getting back to dinner, it's going to be you, minute, me, with the marriage, you, yeah. me, and Carson are going to dinner. I want to see. No, this. no, we're not going. We're not when you beg. We're going to go. <laughs> nice. No, we'll go to dinner. But you and I know that Johnny is a very, very meticulous man, and very, you know, particular who he goes out with. Not because he doesn't love people, but he's the kind of guy that <laughs> finds. I, he you does. Know, he does love people. It's hard for him to do. Let's hear it. Ra ra ra. Notre Dame. Yeah. You know, he's not that kind <laughs> no, of guy. I probably On not. camera, there's nobody more. 
But when the light's out, he picks his friends. Mm -hmm. And as the last time I looked at the list, you were about 178 <laughs> on the list. But we'll go out one night at the beach, the and you bring your cigar, yeah, and yeah. you close up that little cave in the teeth. <laughs> and, uh, you wear your little baseball cap, and you sit there and go, I could make more than that old man over there. <laughs> and we'll have a nice evening. And, and the beach is great. Do you like the beach? Oh, I love the beach. How That's can you the, not like the beach? Well, sure. That, I'm married uh, 22 years now, and it, the beach gets me a little excited. The waves come in, and the white says, <laughs> pretend we're surfing. Uh, and I uh, stand on top of the boardwalk and, yeah. Yeah. and make a little move once do, in a while. Do you wax her up? <laughs> you know, uh, you know something? I, I gotta mark that down. I never thought about that. I'm gonna use that if Next you like. time I take a shot at the wife, I'm gonna wax her up. <laughs> and if I stay there, I'm gonna have another kid. Anyway, uh, uh, it, 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 let me, they got a couple of photos here. You oh, want to see these pictures? Sure. Hey, whatever you want to do, it's your show. Your biggest thing in the business. Just barely. Okay, here. What do we got here? This is you and Frank Sinatra. Oh. This is you with your mouth on, uh, hand on Frank's mouth. <laughs> you got that picture. I was at the Golden Nugget where I opened uh, June 25th. I have to say that. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you know, otherwise I, I limp. Uh -huh. But uh, <laughs> uh, Frank Sinatra, he and I at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. did it, and Frank started to explain to me about Marco Azanando. <laughs> who was a very dear friend of ours, uh -huh. who was not here, unfortunately. I'm He's sorry. in Sicily, yeah. trying to straighten out a few people. <laughs> anyway, uh, but Frank is a dear friend. You get along well with Frank? Huh? You get along well with oh, Frank? Oh, yeah. He's going to kidnap your kids. <laughs> anyway, uh, you don't have any kids, but... <laughs> now, do you want to you talk about you this? You could show that. Now, we show. see this now, sure. and I don't know. I, I mean... You ran that. One night I watched you, yeah. and you held that up. You were a little sarcastic about it. And yes, you were, and I, hey, I can't blame you. It looks kind of weird. This is a Don Rickles playing a piece of carpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, th this must have been huge money. Well, you certainly know it. Uh, I didn't do it so a dog would walk on my face. You can bet on that. I got a lot of expenses. I got a, I got a mother-in-law that just gets up in the morning going, Is he still working? <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, I have a lot of payments. So yeah. that, that carpet, Allied Chemical, Allied, uh, Allied Carpet. Great carpet. Well, let's check and see yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, as long it as is we're Allied Carpet. Waste time and on to a plug get here. the stains out, you, got, you need three maids and one person who is willing to work 24 hours just scrubbing away, and two of them spit up and died on me. <laughs> I never got the stain out. But it's a They actually carpet. spit up and then died. Ah, shut up, David. You, <laughs> don't uh, be a wise what, guy. Uh, we got, we got well, just about a half a minute here. Anything you want to say about uh, what's going on? The Iran hearings, uh, the Bakers, uh, no, Gary the Bakers, Hart, no, anything unfortunately, there? the Bakers had a problem. They believed God would cover for them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, of course... Uh, don't you uh, think they'll be back, though, with a vengeance? They'll be back bigger than ever? Well, if they are, the Almighty is going to be up there going, how did they get back? <laughs> uh, but I, I do think Gary Hart, unfortunately, was a great candidate, but he got in heat. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. You know, he must hear all that nonsense, you know. Sure. But he's now in Colorado with a big rifle going, do you see any movement? <laughs> Anyway, uh, but it's a shame, you know, it's because a shame. we have so many. I was, uh, you've met Ronald Reagan, our president. No, I've not met Ronald Reagan. Well, you ought to meet him. He would be delighted to meet you, really. Oh, I sure think he'd go in a coma when he met you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're friendly with the president? Oh, yeah. yeah. I call him Ronnie. I knew yeah. him when he was governor of California. Sure. I said, hello, Mr. President. And he mm -hmm. went, am I? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? What, what at the inaugural for yeah. Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. We were there, and it was a big party, and Frank kept saying, don't make a thing. And this is, the, this is a true story. <laughs> don't make Sinatra, a thing. Don't make a thing. He hates when I make a thing. Sinatra keeps saying to me, and I love Frank. He's the best human being in the world. I have to say that because uh -huh. I have an aunt in Newark who I haven't seen in three years. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's only a joke, Frank, if you watch this, and I don't think you are. Anyway, uh, he doesn't sit up in the middle of the night to hear crash, bang, boom, crash. You don't think and Frank he, would No, like he's that, in huh? the bed yeah. saying to the wife, okay, <laughs> let's try it with the plates. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> He loves China. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so, so what was I telling you? I don't forget the way. Uh, I'm meeting Ronald Reagan. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I met Ronald Reagan, and <laughs> we were leaving the White House, and it was great. I was at the inaugural, which was a great treat, and mm -hmm. I owe that to Frank Sinatra. And with Don Rickles' image, you know, it's like aggressive yeah. and so forth. They said, the President of the United States is not going to have me at the White House. Mm -hmm. And there I was at the White House, and the show went great. In fact, I told uh, little Emmanuel, you know, that little kid on Webster? Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. I said, he's the first black kid that I definitely can say will never play basketball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and it got that kind of reaction. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then two black guys in my dressing room later said, give me a jewelry. <laughs> no, uh, no, they didn't say so that. Were... I, I love the black people, yeah. I really do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I must say that, so we were in the White House, and, and I was ready to leave, and I said to the president, I said, Mr. President, can I speak to you? And he's a tall man, mm -hmm. as you know. Stand up, David, if you would. And he's a tall man, and I walked, as you are, and I walked over and I said, listen, whenever you're in California, whatever you need, you give me a call. <laughs> and, the, and the president went, what? <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the truth. He's a great man, Ronald Reagan. He really is. He's a lot of fun, and he's doing a lot for our country. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't get into politics. I really don't. I, I definitely feel we should have a black president and a Jewish pope. Uh -huh. And uh, when we do, I'm going to live in Poland. Uh -huh. Anyway, but uh, whatever happens, happens. And I wish them all the best, really. <laughs> and I must happens, say, happens. you're the dullest human being well, I've ever talked to. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we uh, we got to do uh, station identification. Don, a pleasure to see you. Come back again. Don't wait two years now. All right? Don Rickles, folks. We'll be right back.